Daily gang, we are back. It's Wednesday morning. I'm still at home at the moment and the weather is awful. Today, today's going to be a great day. Got a lot of good things going on. My landscaper has started at one of my properties today in this weather. He's there now. I'm going to go over there this afternoon, show you guys him digging the garden out and stuff. Talk to you about what we're having done in there and the cost because the cost is um cost is all right it's there am i happy with it i don't know but i'll go through a complete breakdown with you and show you but yesterday i posted on my instagram um some gifts for isabella and everybody always messages me and says steve what's in the boxes because you show the boxes but you don't show the gifts now yeah, sometimes I don't show the gifts, sometimes I do. Um, but you know what? Because people keep asking all the time. I will show you some of the things that Isabella got. So we'll start with this one. So this is, I don't even know what it is myself. I'm going to it up. Okay, so this is a hat for her games, football games. She's here with me, by the way. She's getting ready. And this is when we go to watch the football so that was one of the things that was in the box from yesterday then we had this one and inside that box is okay Isabella you're going to have to tell me what this is can I take it out yeah you're going to have to tell me what this is so it looks like a scarf it is yes a silk scarf a silk yeah yeah now, I'm not going to be able to fold that back up no, into oh, the yeah. same way. You just you just leave it, don't you? Really? Is that okay? Because I genuinely <laughs> am not going to be able to do that, darling. Um, that's one box. Then we have this box. That's not a scarf as well, is it? No. Okay. I was going to say, I'm not taking that one out. Okay. So, a belt. She had a belt in that one. And then we've got two more boxes. Okay, I know what this one is. So this is Cruise Eleven's blanket because he moves into his room. Oh, well, he's supposed to move into his room this week and not happy about it at all. And we haven't made the leap yet, have we? No. But this is Cruise's blanket. Guys, some of you have probably seen as well on my Instagram because I got messages from quite a few of you actually that said what is shishu <laughs> because i i put shishu um shishu s-h-i-s-h-o-e is cruise eleven's nickname we call him shishu so if you hear me say the word shishu it's cruise where does the nickname come from well once you start seeing things like this where we're at home and we put more of this into the dailies you will see that we have nicknames <laughs> For everybody and everything we do, you just don't hear them. Um, but maybe some of the nicknames will start coming out. Can I tell them my nickname that you've had for me for nine years nearly? If you want to. Basty. B-A-S-T-Y. And that stuck for nine years, hasn't it, that one? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. A bit of behind the scenes stuff here today. And then the last one, which is this one, is... Is this for holiday or is this for the UK? It's a hat, cool hat to Dubai, am I? <laughs> for, well, I don't know, it's beautiful though, it's very nice. So for everybody who messaged me yesterday saying, what's in the boxes that you bought on the floor, then pictures with all the banners, um, ribbons around them. <gasps> Sorry darling, dropped it on the floor. There's a spider, there's a spider. Where? By your foot. <laughs> it's behind you. And there is a tiny little spider as well on the floor. Um, yeah, so that was what was in the boxes. And then also something I get asked a lot, a hell of a lot by a lot of people. Comment below if you do actually ask this question because I've been asked this question more than 500 times. What aftershaves do you wear? Okay, so I only wear Louis Vuitton. One brand all the time. I never, ever, ever change my aftershaves. I used to, I used to have different brands and stuff, but now I stick to one brand. And every day, I think I've got about 14. I think we're on 14. There is a new one somewhere. 
Um, where is that new one? Which one? That, I don't, I don't want to say it on the daily because I don't know whether the pronunciation's right. The orange one? That oh, new, um, don't I don't know where it is. Um, Which is your favourite one? My favourite one. I'll show you my favourite one, guys. Oh, I know. I actually have two favourites. Sorry, I don't know if you heard that. I actually have two favourites. So, the original, Ombre Nomad, which the bottle actually has got my name on it. There's a few bottles that have got my name on it. And then, Afternoon Swim. That is another one of my favourites. So, them two. Them two at the minute are still my favourites. Hello. Ah, okay. oh, awesome. Have you found him and told him? Yeah, I'll give him another call. So I, I think I, I, I did say um, that we, we can get it printed and he can come back and get it. I'm not too sure whether he heard me or not. So I'll give him another call. Oh, you're a star. I massively appreciate it, mate. Thank you. That's all right, but that's it. Yeah, but it's in the uh, office room. So I'll, uh, I'll let him know. All right, thank you. Cheers, mate. Take bye bye. Soon, bye. So um, somebody needed a ticket. Uh, I'm sorry, my dad needed a ticket for the game against Birmingham City on the 6th of October in the away stand. Couldn't get one. Matt kindly at West Bromwich Albion just sorted it out, printed one out and got him one there. And then also he's got me as the sponsorship for the game on Saturday. So we are sponsoring the game on Saturday, which means we get um, a tour of the, the stadium, which I've been around a thousand times, but the people who are coming to the box have never done it. Um, we get to go in the changing rooms, see all that kind of stuff. Our names go up in bits and pieces. I get the match ball at the end of the game. And some of the people with us get to go on the pitch at the beginning of the game and had the photo taken with the captains and the referees. It's pretty cool. And they sorted us out at an unbelievable price. So I'm not going to tell you what the price is because hmm. other people pay like two, three thousand pounds to sponsor a game. We didn't pay that. But thank you, Matt, West Bromwich Albion, always looking after us, which is key. Came in today. We're waiting for the desk to be delivered, which are going to be today. So this office today will be completely allocated to everyone's spaces, which is really cool. Now, I'm having to pay... Um, actually, JV partner got paid back today. Fantastic. Absolutely over the moon. Two JV partners actually got paid back today. But the one of them is absolutely ecstatic. Um, Tom is literally standing behind the camera to attention and it's ridiculous how he's not moved for 16, 17 seconds in the same pose. You I'm did not move. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I was literally waiting to put myself in. So I have to make a payment to the office people right now. How much is the payment? So have you got them set up now? Um, am I setting it up? I'm setting it up. One second. I've got, not got these set up on my account already. No, no, no. Okay, add a payee. What's the name of the business? So Office Furniture, New and Used Limited. Office Furniture, New and Used. Oh, because they're set up on the other accounts? Yeah, they are, yeah. Yep. Um, I'll just pay it here. Account number? Sort code? 11. 11. Checking payee, the name below does not match. Office furniture, new and used, limited. The, off, the name below doesn't match. Professional services, 2014. What's the, what's the, that's paid. What's the um, other invoice? So the other invoice is for the venue. No, no, the invoice to these for the cabinet, that's in there. You said there's a, there's no, a that, cabinet. That is in that. Cost, that's what I'm saying, that's why it's 2040 and that's what Oh, okay. And then who else am I paying? So then the, the other one is the venue. Okay, what's the details of that? So the account name is Crown Plaza, Gerard's Cross. Yeah. Hey, what's the, what's the payment reference? So, uh, yeah. Paid. Um, guys, just to let you know, this never, ever, ever happens. Every single payment that comes from any of my companies gets paid on a Friday. The only reason that we have made an exception today is one, to secure the location in Beaconsfield, now the price is agreed, and two, because I wanted the office furniture delivered 
today and company policy is that they don't release anything till it's paid and I want it in today, otherwise I was bringing it Friday. Um, but for anybody out there that works closely with us, as in you contractors, there is no exceptions to be made. Payments are on Fridays. Um, so that's why we never really show you the payment side of things because then all of a sudden people start messaging me saying, oh, you paid that on a Wednesday, can you pay it again? Um, no, it doesn't work like that. This is not mine. That is not mine. So, um, everyone's doing stuff. I'm going to find out what everybody's doing right now. Um, you've been to Chesterfield today. How did that go? It was great, yeah. It was really good. good? Yeah, it's just a long drive. You had to be there for like eight. So. Okay. Um, I'm shooting over to um, the gardeners. Going over to the gardeners. 26 minutes before we have to leave. 26 minutes on the dot and TikTok counting down. It's been a great day so far. Sure. I've got loads and loads and loads that I want to talk to you about. Um, let's just get on the road. Let me just spend 20 minutes with everybody in here to figure out what everybody's doing today, and then I'll catch you on the road. Site visit with the one and only, again, he's here, which is really cool, because he's actually paying attention to what I told him when I said, just turn up, just be around, and start, um, start spending more time in Birmingham. I think he will be spending a lot more time in Birmingham like, uh, in the next forthcoming six months or something. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Mm, and I, I think so too. Um, hi. Yep. You take them as many as you want, mate. Yep. You take what you want, mate. You're welcome. Um, where was we? Yeah, he'll be spending a lot more time in Birmingham, I believe, in the foreseeable future, um, if Miss Dick Maggie's right. Yeah, am I right? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Um, roof is on, on that side. The structure's being built at the front here. The extension's halfway up, with that wall all inside. So if you go around there, please fill and show them inside. That wall's been removed now. Everything's been put on hold today because the weather is horrendous. We had 10 blokes on sites on the, on the ones around here. Everyone's gone home. Even the garden, the landscape has gone home. So Ant, you just FaceTimed us in the shower. Um, weird. It's kind of like me having, I was having the bath when you FaceTimed me, wasn't I? So what actually happened was I was in the bath. Rocky wanted to have a chat with me. So I don't mind speaking on the phone and stuff, you know, like he's my boy in that. And then um, he was like, can I FaceTime you? I was like, I'm in the bath. And he's like, yeah, no. Conversation was ended there and then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really go like that. Um, you okay? Yeah. Did you fall then? No, I'm just leaving it over. Being okay. Yeah, it's being destructive. Um, yeah, so quick site visit. I wanted to see the roof. I wanted to see what the size of the extension, which was, um, I could see on the plans and I could see it without the walls. Now I understand the space that's going to be in there. So I know what I want to do there. And then also now we're going up to the next one because the digger's in the house, isn't it? I just want to see what they've done, see if they've damaged any of my walls or anything like that. And then back to the office because, yeah, just back to the office. <laughs> wow, we've got this out, haven't we? I only started at started eight o'clock this morning. Um, this garden is going to have I'm not going out into the garden Tom looks like he's going to go hunting you going hunting Tom? yeah on there question question for everyone the door's on the left hand side Which and the right door side should open first because in my experience it's always the right but I've been informed it doesn't matter but to me my whole life I always go to the right hand door to open it because that's always been the lead door yeah. that opens. What about you? I've never paid attention. I just open whatever door opens for me. Well, always the right. Right. Yeah. It's always the right, yeah? So why have we got all left-hand doors? I had the conversation with you. It doesn't matter either way, and that could be handy there ever. Yeah. It's just I realised just by, um, what's the word? Chance. Uh, no, like by the fact that I always do that certain thing, and on these three particular properties, I go for the right-hand door and it doesn't open. Okay. What are you going outside for? Go on then, go and have a look. Nope. Nope. That's 
You going out? Oh, sorry, I thought you were going out. Um, so, guys, to give you an idea of what's going on here, if you look down here where, the, where this drop is from here to the digger, we're having steps going down that run all the way from the left-hand side, all the way, if you come over here, please, Phil, to the fence panel over there. And then all up here, we are having porcelain slabs, or porcelain, but they are porcelain slabs. Um, I wouldn't say porcelain tiles then. Porcelain slabs there. Porcelain, yeah, but if people say porcelain tiles, people are going to think it's for the bathroom or it's going to be for the kitchen. So slabs that are porcelain, all out there. And then a nice patio in front of the steps and then all grass with an edging all the way around. Brand new fence panels all the way around. Um, now we can't shut the door. Which I kind of knew was going to be a bit of an issue when he was trying to open it. And also, he has cream trainers on. And he's still, and now we broke the doors. Um, so the cost to do all of that garden has cost me £13,000. Um, I know the contractor is amazing. He's actually, and if you're watching this, you are absolutely exceptional at your job but you are also a pain in my ass 85% of the time. But the 15% of the time, you are genuinely a very nice human being. Actually, the 85% of the time that you're a pain in the ass, you're not a, nice, you're not a bad human being, you're just a pain in my ass. Um, but I like ants at the end of jobs. You know, he's coming towards the end because he's happy. Right at the beginning of the job, he's never happy. Um, and ants the only person ever that I transfer more than 10% up front to. That's the truth. He still moans. And Tom said he still moans. Um, <laughs> but £13,000 to get this garden done. Two week turnaround. And as you can see here, we've had to um, bring the mini digger through the house because it won't fit through that little entrance over there. Which is why the kitchen hasn't been fitted, which is why the skirting hasn't been done in here and why we never actually fitted the staircase because we always knew there was a very good chance that the digger wouldn't make it down the side of the house. So we knew, we planned. I'm pointing at the camera with my Steve Hamilton. Oh. Ronnie, we have Steve lots Wayne. of these. These are really cool. Um, <laughs> do you know what I should do? Could have said that before we left office. I know, yeah. Do you know what I should do? Guys, you know what I'm going to do? Because we do lots of giveaways and we do, um, we do lots of like, Giving, to the, giving trainers to the young children and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is every single week going forward from next week, I am going to do like 50... I'm going to do like 50 items, so like 50 caps, 50 t-shirts, 50 hoodies. And every week I'm going to put them for sale with the daily for five days. And all of the money that goes from there, even the money that it costs me to make them, I'm going to go and buy trainers and give them away to, to, to the schools. So you might see 50 of these come up for sale, mm -hmm. but I think we'll start with caps, it's easier. Yeah. Um, and then we'll do, Ayush has got like, he's like, yes. Yeah, yes, you like that, don't you? Yeah. Um, so now it's time to introduce Rocky to speak on the daily. Um, microphones coming out of Phil's pocket. Give them a tour of downstairs and what's been done and explain what's been happening. What, since the last time I came? No. Just explain, just do a little house tour of what's what and why it's like that and let's see, um, let's see what you've got. You've done three stage talks now. <laughs> so now it's time to take control of the daily. Also, do you want to um, you know how I talk about brand everything? It's one of my biggest things. I've been saying it for years and years and years. Can we just take a look at the shirt? Nice, very cool. Off you go, mate. Okay, just start from the front of the house. Boom. So now, Rocky's daily, let's go. So as you can see, this is the living room. It's been plastered and it's been painted. I think this is, I don't think this is the finished paint job, but I could be wrong. The, there's a sockets that go all the way down there. One, two, three. There's a lot of sockets in, in this room. Staircase will be going here eventually at some point. 
Then over here. We're not too sure what the is yet. We did it the day yesterday, we're not too sure. Not too sure what it's going to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll make it something. <laughs> Never know. You've got the double bay fronted windows, which are great always. Adds the space. Steve, Bill said you don't know what this room's going to be yet. So you let us know what you think it could be used for as a correct space in the property today. Well, you've already got a utility room, so you don't need one of those. We don't have a bedroom. No. Nope. at the front. Think about who's going to be moving in here. You've got two adults and maybe two children. So like a playroom. Playroom would be one idea. Of what playroom, you study, for. office. Yep. So it's got playroom, study, office, which is the same kind of thing. Yeah. And probably one more function this could be used for. Can't think of one. Dining room. That was the obvious one that came to my head first. Yeah, where the family could come together. Because the space that we have in the living room, yeah. that's incredible space. Same with the kitchen though as well. Kitchen's awesome. Also, quick question. This yes. here? Yes. Radiator. Right, okay. Heating. Nice, nice. It's good, isn't it? I like it. Last time I came, it wasn't plastered because I didn't come to the meeting a week yeah. or two ago. So we're still waiting for that meter to be moved, which is the 20 summer of September. And then the whole front side will just be ripped out and the two new doors and all done. And then we're kind of like. It's just a kitchen, really. The kitchen yeah. and the bathroom. We we'll bring it all together. Yeah, but we can't do anything until the garden's done. Let's get the house tour done. Did you, did you do the whole house tour? No. Nah. Haven't done a house tour yet. Carry on. Okay, so up here you can see the spotlights. Again, gives it a house a spacious feel instead of having those little pendants. Here is, well, I'll go in here after. Here is the utility room. Again. Self-explanatory utility room. Here it is downstairs bathroom. So in here you're just probably gonna have bathroom or well, toilet and a sink. Yeah. Now for my favourite part of this property in the extension, this is look at the natural light. Natural light in here is speechless. And obviously from here as well, French doors. Amazing. Phil wasn't gonna let me know oh, that that sorry, was there. Really no, <laughs> just wanted to let me fall over on a daily. Yeah, this is actually my favourite, favourite part of the house though. And you oh, she got more natural light. Yeah. But that is basically the tour of this house. But when they put the kitchen in, maybe I'll give you another tour, a more in detail tour. Comment Take... down below if you want more. So just to give you a little idea of what this is, we have the kitchen running all the way along that wall, all the way, the full length of it. And then we have an island right here where you can see the electric point comes out the ground and that's going to sit here. We have the garden being done, like I said, the garden's being done. We have the spotlights still to put in here. Now the spotlights were being held off until the kitchen's fitted so I can place them how I want them and have them correctly. Then if we come into here, which is the main living room, we now have the door frame, which we will have the doors fitted as well. In here, which I talked about already, we've got the utility, downstairs toilet, we have the um, staircase ready to come. So as soon as that digger behind you gets taken out, the staircase will be fitted. And I'm excited about the staircase. We had a quote today for the glass balustrade to be fitted on the staircase and the single piece that will run along here. And it came in at £3,100. So I've contacted a friend of mine who also does it and I'm putting the contracts with them together and hopefully we can reduce the cost of that. We have the electric meter being moved in five days. Tom has just, it is five days you said? And Tom has reminded me, that's five days, which then means we can knock all the fronts of that out, get the doors that we've got, the two doors opening in and we can finish plastering it all up uh, and boarding it first then getting it plastered. And we're kind of at the end of the project. It's kind of there. As soon as that garden gets done, they can monocouche then but everyone's dropped off today because the weather is absolutely horrendous. But we're going back to the office now. Um, I'm very happy. I've got to run through some costs of two projects that we've got contracts signed on that you said. You've made a load of notes that you want to run through. Tom wants me to run through some notes. Spending some time with Rocky, the boys down for the, um, for the day. I don't know whether he's here tomorrow as well. 
And then Ayush looks like he's going out um, into the wilderness. What a great guy he is, by the way. He's great. Genuinely a very nice human being. Um, because he's the prince of Dubai <laughs> and he's the son of a billionaire. Um, so he's nice. <laughs> I'm joking. We tell him he's the son of a billionaire. Um, and it's kind of like a running joke in the office. And he's like, Steve, my dad and mom are not billionaires. Um, he's looking at me like he's like, are they talking about me? Are they talking about me? Ayush. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. Prince of Dubai? <laughs> Back in the office, desks, chairs, everything's being delivered. It is five to four, ten to four. I always have my, phone, my um, watch five minutes quicker. Um, what's going on? What's all this I'm hearing about slavery and... Okay, not slavery, it's modern day slavery legislation. So modern day slavery legislation, we have to have it in the handbook. Code of conduct. Code of conduct. And in the handbook. Yeah. Um, we're on top of it. We've spoken to the HRT. It's going to be implemented. Pensions, we've discussed. Yeah, I've sorted the pensions out. Yeah. I've spoke to my accountant yeah. whether people opt out or stay in. Yeah. When all, everybody signs a new contract on Friday. Yeah. To be fair, the new contracts will be signed on Monday. So when the whole team are in, the contracts are here on site on Friday. Everyone can have a copy to go on with on the weekend. And then Monday is when everybody needs to sign them. And if you want to opt in the pension or if you want to opt out the pension, that's completely down to you guys. Yeah. And, and the, the other thing was, sorry to interrupt, um, the, the draft. The draft, I've got, I've got them, yeah. it's on my desk. So I say on my desk, you're all yeah. on my desk. They, they've got to be literally, he's, Adam's going to go over them, what, is, what I've highlighted for you to change because yeah. you put on there the salary and the responsibilities that is under mine or Tom's. Name, yeah. But I said that needs to be. Yeah. yeah. So that's okay. pretty much where we are with Adam. Okay, but you two COOs kind of know what ones you're overseeing, don't you now? If you don't, then there's a problem. I'll put it down on the contract, but you get it, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Two completely separate roles into completely things where you two should never, ever, ever really cross over. No. And you, that's the only time we should, the only a crossover that should be between me, me and my money is when I give him something for Ayush or for Lizzie or something okay. that way. That should be the only, okay, yeah. the only crossover. So okay. if I want, say I need you to film X, Y and Z for me. Yep. Then I'll ask you to ask Ayush because you said rather than cutting. Yeah, that, we need to cut out that 600 lines of communication, it be, and it needs to be one line of communication down to one line of communication, communication down to another. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a, probably a difficult thing that we implement over the next six weeks, but eventually mm -hmm. it'll come. Also on Monday, the CRM system, I want it scrapped. I want it gone. Yeah. I want Clavio gone. Um, and Monday. Yeah, Clavio and Monday, I want them both scrapped. We're going to go off the outlook, yeah? No, no, I want a new CRM system implemented. I know which one I want. Is it what, above? Can, can I ask why we're scrapping Clavio? Because we could do it from a CRM system. Okay, so what you can do group emails from? From, a C well, depending on what CRM system you buy. Okay. But why have we got two systems running? Because Clavio is just the bulk email. Yeah, server. no, but I don't want it. Like but I'm paying £77 a month for something yeah, when yeah. I pay... I was paying 500 quid for, what's that other one we had? Salesforce. Salesforce. Then I'm paying this for this. Why is everybody running off the different things? I want it all. Hayden's got it under control. He's going to put it all into one he's CRM. He's, that he's very good when it comes to CRM systems. That's his role. That's yeah. what he's done. He knows how to do them. So he's doing that. But um, you all happy? I'm asking you that question. No I'm, no, I'm not happy yet because no one's making me any money. As soon as I make some money, I'm happy. You get me all smiling and stuff and I'll be jumping up and down. But right now... You're all costing me money. But it's costing me money in a good way because you're implementing everything that needs to be here. So I don't mind. But don't let this drag on for too long. You know, next week, let's have it all done. It's all boxed off. And everybody's back in the roles making money. To be fair, Hayden made 14 grand yesterday, which was pretty cool from the bespoke sourcing. Um, that was nice. That's in the bank cleared. Tony obviously always makes money consistently the developments always make money when the refinances drop um 11 you've done really well you got rid of a bad apple today um bad apple. that's a very bad apple that's gone that's done um so yeah i'm not happy but i'm content that's what i am that's content um and also guys you know when my dad came in and dropped me off um a tracksuit the other day um which was a complete and utter shock and a surprise um, last night, at what time? 
Would you say it was six ish? Yeah. Half oh, five, six o'clock when Dad came in last night? Oh, yeah. Six. Six o'clock, just before I went to Sajid Sands networking events, he came in with a gift. I'll show you guys in the next scene. To make sure that your board was up to date, so all that's up, um, and then, okay, no problem. No problem, speak to you soon. That's okay, bye, bye, bye. So, what was that all about, Louise? The board for Nantwich? Yeah, okay, what does he want to discuss? Because I heard him say, so it me and you are going to have a conversation. Said, he just said, can we just discuss what's going on with the, the land and the offer, and if you want to take over land and... No, I explained everything to him yesterday. Oh, did you? I had a whole conversation with him. He turned down the offer of 950,000 yesterday. Done. Oh. Said he can't because if he's going to be in for 200, he might as well be in for half a mil. Oh. So. So that one's gone then. It's got some. Um, it's got some bottle. He's all in. Yeah. He's all in, which is which is um, pretty thingy. So my dad came in yesterday and bought me a tracksuit, and then he came in last night at six o'clock, right? And he bought this bag. No idea what was going on, didn't have a clue. And he comes in and he hands me this with this. So I was like, what's this all about? And then I opened it and inside was that. 18 karat gold submariner. Blue one, discontinued. Um, and he bought it yesterday and said it was my birthday present, which not many things actually like leave me shocked. Um, this left me shocked because that's one hell of a gift. That's nuts. Um, so... Thank you very much, Dad. Massively appreciate it. This will be going into the safe um, because this is a real collector's piece, this is. And, yeah, I will wear it for the rest of the day, though. There's my... Still a cool watch. Um, but, yeah, not many things really um, leave me speechless. But, um, yeah... Bit overwhelmed with that one. That was that was crazy. So thank you. And then they also gave him um, a passport holder, Mont Blanc one for free. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, that happened yesterday at six o'clock when you guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, he got a Mont Blanc passport <laughs> holder thrown in. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Very 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 generous. Um, so yeah. Um, Louise, we have been invited to a private behind closed doors event exclusively for the UK's top agents. And it states here, you are in the top three agents in your area based on your current high value listings. Um, you're independent, so you're not part of a, a corporate, and it actually states corporate crap. Um, you've got a strong brand, which has a huge potential. Um, who is behind this event? It names the two people. Um, Lake District and at the AJ Underground event, you'll get inside strategies, hidden tactics. We're using blah blah blah. This is just not a property event. Um, it states that this is for Isabella and Steve's eyes only, so it's kind of like a James Bondy kind of thing. When's that? Um, we have been exclusively invited, and you are the best of the best but it's going to cost you £247 plus VAT up until the 30th, and then it's £500 plus VAT after that, and it's Wednesday the 4th to the 6th of October in the Lake District. So obviously it's overnight and stuff. Um, so I will leave that. Oh, yeah, AJ Underground, 4th of the 6th, October 2023. So I'll leave that with you. I'm not sure whether you want to go. Um, I don't know whether we'll benefit anything from it or we will benefit, or we won't benefit, I don't know. Okay. But we've got that there. Guys, um, I don't know how much more time I've got to film today because I'm waiting for the boy to tell me. Sorry, you've got no more time. We've got no more time? Sorry, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to end it right now. So 
we have um, a decision to make on a refinance on one of my um, self-contained blocks. You haven't seen this one. And we have three options of who we're going to uh, refinance with. We have Lendinvest, we have Aldermore, and we have Barclays. Um, I wanted to go through the rates with you and I wanted to go through the setup fees and the application fees, which if you can remind me, I will do that tomorrow. And um, what else did I want to run through with you today? I told you about the gardens, what they're costing. I've had a roof done that's just cost me six and a half thousand pounds, which I'm gonna try and get in and show you guys. But all in all, the whole office is a buzz, as you can tell. We have a lot of stuff going on with HR, like lots and lots of stuff. So this week has been a week where we're just trying to implement all the stuff that we have to do to make sure that we are above board in the offices with 12 members of staff. So the HR and the legal side of it has been a real big part of this week. This guy has done absolute wonders, by the way. He has really been on the ball. He's been getting all of our paperwork together, all of our contracts together, all the DBS checks together, all of our health and safety stuff that we need in the offices, all the signage that we need around the offices, all of the next to kin on file. So you know something, guys? All of this stuff that I'm talking about, some of you will actually sit at home and go, oh yeah, that's basic stuff. Yes, it's basic stuff, but it's basic stuff that takes a lot of time and effort to implement. And for everything you see on social media, where you see like a sourcing company, or you see someone who you know, flips a few properties here and there, someone who does a networking event, now you see the levels. We are not at the same level as anybody on social media. We are in a completely different stratosphere we are so far away from everybody it's outrageous and hopefully you guys are getting to see an insight in how difficult this actually is to do um it's costly it's time costly but boy oh boy oh boy in 10 years time watch where we are